scale. The, big, the bigger pie is this has the, the correct area in terms of the total mass of the vehicle takeoff, and the smaller pie is the total mass of the vehicle as it's about to descend. So here's a summary of the mass saving techniques that we're using to make the whole system more efficient. Fully reusable efficient boosters to low Earth orbit. All in-space vehicles are fully reusable. The electric drive moves fuel and vehicle mass, including cargo, up to L1 from low Earth orbit. The use of L1 for departure to Mars transit to make it efficient so a large number of, number of vehicles can leave at once. The use of air capture and tr the trim maneuver to enter low Mars orbit with almost no fuel use. The use of a near equatorial low Mars orbit for the lowest ascent and descent delta V requirements. The use of Mars ice to create a high energy uh, oxygen and hydrogen uh, fuel mixture as a permanent fuel supply on Mars. We looked at Zubrin's concept of using oxygen methane. You do get your vehicle back in orbit with that, but you only get one third of the propellant back, uh, mass back in orbit, which means two thirds your, of your propellant would have to continue to, to come from Earth or some other source. And the whole point is to be you know, independent of your fuel source, you'd have it right on Mars. So this goes, these are the most critical features, the hydrogen oxygen propellant, the set of similar fully reusable ferry vehicles for repeated access, the guarantee of an initial supply of liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen in Mars orbit, the use of the Martian subsurface ice deposits, and the use of supersonic retropropulsion. So once we go to Mars, let's keep going to Mars. Our objective is to create a capability for continuing manned Mars exploration. Let's use the time until the first Mars expedition, making sure that once we go there, we can afford to keep going there. Surely that's enough time to do it. That, thank you very much. Any questions? Okay, we, we're just fine. So I think we have we have like what five minutes for questions, uh, or if, if there are any. Does anybody have any questions? Yeah, go ahead. Have you, have you ever decided to create in a, uh, if anyone proposed a test vehicle for propellant in L1 or L2? <coughs> well, see, I, I my concept is a, is a miniature lunar ferry which would have a, a depot at L1 or L2 with se like just several tons of cryogenic propellant. One more question, real quick.
Okay, thank you. Uh, we're going to take a break, and uh, because of a miscommunication, we're doing the schedule. The next presentation won't start until 4.15, so we'll have a bit of a break until the next one. And after that, we'll have uh, another student presentation followed by a uh, talk on a uh, new program, a proposal called the Mars Initiative, given by me. So that'll start at uh, 4.15. Now, which, this, was this my...